Very good morning to everyone. We are here with the last session of this relaxation technique, but not the least. Why? Because the session what we are going to conduct today by Ananya that will be having the Ananmaya Kosha's perspective, and that will complete the Panch Kosha's concept with this relaxation technique session. And hope it will be helpful for each and everyone. So Ananya, we hope. your sessions will be helping each and everyone who are attending from last four sessions so thank you ananya once again for the last session of relaxation technique thank you um i will be sharing my uh, ppt now then we'll begin with the session Today's session is Ananda Amrita Sinchana. So, as we all know, S. V. Asa has uh, developed a series of advanced techniques, which we have been doing from the past uh, few sessions. Uh, this session will mainly work on Ananda Maya Kosha, as we had um, other sessions for Vignana Maya and Mano Maya Kosha before. Ananda Maya Kosha it mainly works on happiness and bringing eternal bliss. So let us uh, begin the session. Before we begin, uh, let us keep in mind that we have to wear loose, comfortable clothing, sit in comfortable place with good ventilation. Surroundings must be silent. Concentrate on your breath. Do not wear any ornaments which makes you uncomfortable. Keep your eyes closed throughout the, throughout the practice. let us begin make yourself comfortable in any meditative posture close your eyes and relax your whole body observe your natural breath and movement of your abdomen attune to your breathing process the opening prayer is from the taittiriya upanishad which means he realizes the brahman in is bliss from bliss emerges all these beings from bliss they get their sustenance back they go to ananda the nature of that is all perspective uh, skyline so let us begin gently adopt namaskara mudra आनंदो ब्रह्मेत व्यजाना आनंदा खल विमूता जायते आनंद जाता जीवते आनंद प्रयत्न विशंते ओ शांति 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 feel the resonant vibrations of the prayer relax now let us move on to the next step of the session recall the bliss silence true happiness is an inner experience an inner state a state of silence in the silence is bliss and bliss is happiness recall an incident of great happiness in your life remember this incident and recognize bliss recognize bliss in silence one conclusion of the upanishads is that bliss is silence pure consciousness silence is when there are no thoughts 
intellect has not manifested emotions not arisen prana yet to come recognize that silence in transcendental it is beyond space time and causation and mana bud buddha chitta ahankara that is mind intellect memory and ego we call silence our casual state become aware of the silence between thoughts and stay in silence bliss is silence which is pure consciousness another conclusion of the upanishads is that bliss is everywhere consciousness is at the base of all of creation and bliss is the energy at the base of the physical universe stay in the silence and experience bliss true happiness and pure consciousness now we gently move on to the next step bliss in pairs of opposites we will now experience bliss in pairs of opposites which are hot and cold clean and unclean light and darkness and so on hot and cold recall your experience of going through extremely hot condition like walking in a desert you are sweaty thirsty and exhausted stay in that experience and feel the heat recognize the bliss in that hot condition now let us move on to the opposite experience of being in an extremely cold condition in a snowy windy day you wearing thin short clothes you are shivering recall relive and stay recognize the bliss in this extremely cold condition now let us move on to the next pair of opposites clean and unclean recall your experience of being in a very nice clean place like a very well maintained beautiful garden this garden is very well taken care of there are beautiful trees and flowers everywhere recall and relive that experience of extreme cleanliness feel the bliss in the cleanliness now shift your mind to the opposite experience of being in an extremely dirty place imagine that the place is full of trash with flies everywhere it even smells very bad so unpleasant recall that experience and relive it try to recognize bliss even in this un- unclean uncleanliness situation now let us move on to the next pair of opposites light and dark recall your experience of being in an extremely bright area that is full of light so you can't even open your eyes feel this powerful brightness recognize bliss in the light 
Now, shift your mind to the opposite experience of being in an extremely dark place. It is completely dark, so you can't see anything. Feel and stay in that darkness. Recognize the bliss in the darkness. Now, let go. Drop all these memories and relax. Let everything go from your mind and completely relax. Let us move on to the next step. Recognize bliss. Bliss is everywhere. It pervades, envelopes and indwells everything. Bliss is in both action and non-action or inaction. Recognize that bliss is in thoughts and action. Silence is bliss too. Stay in silence. Feel and enjoy the blissful awareness of silence. The highest growth is unattached love, selfless love for the welfare of others. You must first overcome strong likes and dislikes. You should have strong dislike and likes this if you have strong likes and dislikes this makes your ego strong you become selfish realize that if you don't have strong likes and dislikes you will stay neutral and peaceful you will always be calm and loving in any situation everything happens for a reason Pains, agonies, and miseries will help us to grow as they are triggers for our growth. They teach us more than happiness. Think of them as big opportunities. According to the Bhagavad Gita, whoever is without self-centered affections for anything who rejoices not in favorable situations and hates not in unfavorable ones, the person's wisdom is firmly set. The test of real growth is if you can stay in bliss in the face of good and in bad, in health and in disease, in pain and misery, Can you convert all your problems into opportunities and be loving? Think for a moment. Can you overcome all your likes and dislikes to be loving? Unconditional love. Spread unattached love with understanding and knowledge. Spread ananda, that is happiness, everywhere. Recognize bliss and happiness at the base of creation. Spread your love and care to everyone everywhere on earth. The true test of growth of your bliss is in interactions with the external world. Can you share your bliss with others? 
you can do this by doing service. Service is the manifestation of bliss. Recognize bliss in service and serve others. You can grow so much from serving other people. It will lead you to live higher life, to achieve higher level of consciousness. Help and serve them materially, mentally, emotionally, intellectually and spiritually. Find joy in serving others. Pray and spread your love everywhere. Love everyone and everything around you. Once you start spreading love, the universe will give you back the love you spread. Feel the eternal bliss. Feel the bliss that you felt by serving others. Now, let us move on to the last step of the practice. Resolve. From the depth of silence, raise a positive thought in the form of a resolve, which is a short positive statement with a minimum number of words. Repeat it preferably in your mother tongue or in the language of your mind. Repeat the resolve nine times and allow it to diffuse into a bed of silence. After you have repeated your resolve for nine times, let go and relax. Completely relax. Now, let us prepare to end this session with a closing prayer. Adopt Namaskara Mudra and chant the prayer all together. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashche Tukha Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 with gratitude, surrender yourself. Rub the palms of your hand together and place them gently over your eyes. With a beautiful smile on your face, gently open your eyes whenever you are ready. Thank you. Thank you so much for the last series of our session. And the session was very good and calming. And I hope this connectivity of five sessions will help each other to learn something new. And this series of session will help each and everyone. And we want your suggestions that what we can come up with the next thing with her work so please do let us know. Please give us suggestions to her and to our team to work more better on these kind of series. Thank you, Ananya. Namaste, everyone. Thank you.